Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go to Shapes and select the Rectangle Shape. And then I'll click and drag to draw a rectangle. Then go to the Selection pane and change the name of this shape. I'll delete the three and change the R to a lowercase r, so it just says Rectangle. And then I'll close this and go to View and select Macros. Then choose the name that I want to use for my macro. So I'll have count down and then create. And this opens up the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window where I can create my macro. And the first thing I'll want to type is active presentation dot slides open brackets one close brackets. And so this is my active presentation and I am on slide number one. So this is the first slide in my presentation. Then I want to dot shapes, open brackets, then in quotation marks, I'll put rectangle as that is the name that I just changed this shape to. Then what I actually want to do to this shape is change the text inside of it. So that is dot text frame dot text range and then I'll do equals and then here I need to put what text I want to change it to and to start off with I'll just put in quotation marks the word example then I need to save this and in order to use a macro, I have to save this as a PowerPoint macro enabled presentation and save. Then I can run the macro and it changes the text inside the rectangle to the word example. Then I'll change this here to now open and close brackets and run the macro again. And this gives me the current date and time. Then I need to create a new variable. So I will do dim future as date. So I am now defining a new variable, which I have called future, and I have told it that that variable will be a date. Then I need to tell it what future is actually going to be. So future will be equal to date add, open brackets, the interval, will be in quotation marks and S to represent seconds. Then the number is the number of seconds I want to add. So that's going to be 10 seconds. And then the date that I want to add 10 seconds to, and I'm going to use now again, open and close brackets and then close brackets again. So I am going to add 10 seconds onto the current date and time. Then I'll change now to future and run this again and you'll see I now get a date and time which is 10 seconds in the future. I then want to do future minus now. So I'm taking the future variable that I created up here which is 10 seconds in the future and subtracting it from the current date and time which of course will get me back 10 seconds because that's the difference between these two values. But when I run this, it completely messes up the formatting. So I need to fix that by doing format, open brackets. That's the expression I want to format. And the format that I want to give it needs to be in quotation marks. And it's going to be hours and minutes and seconds. And then close brackets at the end. And because M already represents months, N is used to represent minutes. So when I run this now, I get 10 seconds and zero hours and zero minutes. Of course, what I want it to do is keep recalculating this number so it will gradually get smaller and smaller. To get it to do that, I need to use the do until, and then I want it to do this until future is less than now. So up here, I have said that future is 10 seconds into the future, but of course the current date and time will keep changing as time progresses. So the difference between these two values will gradually get smaller and smaller. 
So I want it to keep recalculating this line of code until the current time catches up with the future time, at which point the future time will be smaller than the current time. And I also need do events here, and that will make it so that I can still do other things while the macro is running. And then at the end of this, I need loop in order to get it to keep looping through this. Then when I press play, the number will gradually decrease. Now we'll look at customizing this. So if I change this here to 20 seconds, I can change the format to just show me the seconds and then run this. And I get a number that looks like that. I'm going to fast forward through this part. Then I can also change the time interval here to be minutes and then change this to two. And now I'm adding two minutes onto the current time. And I'll change this here to be minutes and seconds and then run this. And I get two minutes counting down. Now I'm going to stop this and close this. And we can, of course, change the way the text and the box look as well. So I can increase the font size and change it to black and change the shape fill and the shape outline as well. Then in order to run this macro, go to insert and then links and action. Then change the action on click to run macro and select the macro that we just created called countdown and OK. Now when I play the slideshow, I can click on the time and it will start counting down from two minutes. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to use VBA to make a countdown timer in PowerPoint. And that is everything.